Welcome back to Building Character, where we figure out how to play as your favorite fictional characters in Dungeons & Dragons. Remember to like and subscribe for better snacks next time you play. Maybe. Today we're building Shaggy Rogers, a master detective who likes to eat dog food and can't be destroyed by anything that exists in the universe. So naturally, we'll be building him using the strongest class in the game. It's Ranger time. Are you challenging me? What's a man to a king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer? We're here to solve mystery let's start off with our goals for this build first we need a good boy actually the best boy the best friend a guy could ask for next we need a strong stomach which isn't a metaphor your favorite food is dog food and you can eat an entire buffet in a matter of seconds finally we'll make sure that we can hide while the braver members of our parties actually get things done for stats, we'll be using the standard point array from the player's handbook. Roll for stats if you want, just make sure your dexterity and wisdom are looking good. Wisdom will be first. Your bond with Scooby is the stuff of legends. Constitution after that, there is no limit to what you can eat. You're like Kirby in corduroy pants. Dexterity next, you keep it pretty light and can run away at the drop of a hat. Follow that up with Charisma, who doesn't love the Lillard, or the Kasem, or the Will Forte. Oh dang, I just realized it's Will Forte in the new movie. That's great. Strength is a bit low, we just need other things more, but we'll dump intelligence. Velma really puts the mystery ink on her back when it comes to solving mysteries. Shaggy is a human, but he'd make a hell of a stout halfling. Extra constitution, resistance to poison damage, and a small size to let you mount a medium creature so you could ride Scooby into battle. But that's not really accurate, so enjoy your feet. I'm going to recommend the Gourmand feet from an old unearthed arcana, adding one to your constitution and giving you expertise with Cook's utensils. You can tell if food is poisoned when you smell it, and you can give your allies an extra two hit die after long rests and advantage on constitution saves against disease for the next 24 hours hours by making a ton of food only up to six allies though so fred daphne velma scooby batman and terminator i'm guessing that's what the rest of your party is going to be rolling up now this is an ancient unearthed arcana i'm talking like 2018 so if you want to go for something like the tough feet just grab that instead bump your dexterity into your wisdom with your two free points take athletics for your skill of choice and the guild artisan background for insight and persuasion skills but mostly i just want you to be able to cook the gang's got to keep you around for some reason my guess is because you know your herbs you know cooking herbs cooking herbs is what i'm referring to we'll kick things off as a ranger which has been rebooted and redone almost as many times as mystery ink has we're going to be using the class feature variance version because it's the newest you still get three skills from the ranger list animal handling survival and stealth would be my picks instead of natural explorer take depth explorer letting you grab a special ability at various levels roving adds five to your movement speed and gives you a climbing and swimming speed equal to your normal speed helping you run away we'll actually take the normal favorite enemy which gives you advantage on survival checks to track a type of creature start with humanoids then we'll expand later to get ghouls ghosts monsters and all that stuff you don't like being close to the bad guys but you're pretty good at accidentally bumping into them the class feature variance version is favored foe letting you cast hunter's mark an amount of times equal to your wisdom modifier for free which is really strong but this isn't a power build and shaggy doesn't shoot people second level rangers can choose a fighting style from the class feature variance on earth arcana you can pick up the druidic warrior style to learn two druid cantrips resistance lets a creature you touch add a d4 to their next saving throw you kind of manage to avoid serious damage almost like you're a cartoon character or something produce flame summons a flame that you could throw later to deal 1d8 fire damage with a spell attack or use it for more herbal things like cooking of course again talking about cooking you might need to like light a fire rangers also get their own spells at this level they don't have to rely on the druid ones animal friendship forces a wisdom saving throw of eight plus your proficiency bonus and wisdom modifier on a beast failing that they're charmed by you for 24 hours no concentration required and the beast won't get mad at you when the spell is over so make some bestial bonds speaking of the spell beast bond creates a telepathic link between you and a beast letting you communicate simple thoughts and emotions with each other and the beast will have advantage on attacks against creatures within five feet of you scooby and you aren't really fighters but if someone was giving you trouble scoob would step up speaking of third level rangers can choose a ranger conclave the new class feature variants version of the beast companion lets you get a beast of the earth which looks like any beast of challenge rating one fourth or lower i'd go for a mastiff scooby is a very big 
dog. It has HP equal to 2, plus your wisdom modifier, plus 5 times your ranger level, and an amount of hit die equal to your ranger level, which are D8s. It can charge if it moves 20 feet before attacking, forcing a strength saving throw on a creature, knocking it prone if it fails. You can bring it back to life with a first level slot and have it attack or hide as a bonus action. Probably hide, Scooby's not much of a fighter. The new class feature variants version of Primeval Awareness lets you cast certain spells once per day for free, like speak with animals to speak with animals for 10 minutes. You can permanently talk to Scooby and he can permanently talk to others as well. Don't worry, we'll get something for that later. You can also grab another spell here. Long Strider adds 10 to your movement speed so you can get that whole whirlwind leg tornado run thing that you do going. Really quick dip into Rogue, which will let us grab another skill. Performance is up your alley. There are some musical Scooby-Doo episodes. You also get expertise in two skills, doubling your proficiency bonus with them. I'd say survival for your cooking skills and stealth for your coward skills. You also get sneak attack, letting you add a D6 to attacks when you have advantage or an ally within five feet. Scoob should be there, but remember you do need to use a finesse or a ranged weapon for this. So just do that one episode where Shaggy pulls a Glock on someone classic episode. Fourth level rangers get an ability score improvement, but since you don't solve your cases with your abilities, let's go for sheer dumb luck. The lucky feat gives you three luck die that you can use to re-roll an ability check, saving throw, or attack roll, or you could use it on the creepy guy trying to attack you, giving them disadvantage on their attack roll to hit you, which should help you not die. Fifth level rangers get an extra attack, letting you attack twice with your action instead of once. You could also use one of these to make Scooby attack. We haven't talked about weapons because Shaggy doesn't exactly pull a knife on anyone, but your Shaggy would be pretty good at it. You can also learn second level spells. Pass Without Trace gives allies within 30 feet of you plus 10 to their stealth checks for the next hour, depending on your concentration. So even Terminator can be sneaky. Again, this is assuming Terminator is in your party. Sixth level rangers get another Deft Explorer feature. Canny gives you expertise and a skill from the ranger list. Animal handling is pretty fitting. You can also learn two languages of your choice. Scooby-Doo has been translated into just about every country. Funny Dog and Stoner is a universal language. Seventh level Beastmasters get exceptional training, letting your beast dash, disengage, dodge, or help as a bonus action if you haven't already made an attack in that round. Use one of your attacks and you can command it to dash and dodge in the same round. Those are probably the most likely for you and the pup to do. Eighth level Rangers get an ability score improvement. Use this for your wisdom score to make your friendship with your pooch even stronger. Ninth level Rangers can learn third level spells. Protection from energy gives a creature you touch resistance to damage from acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage for an hour depending on your concentration. This will actually get better later, but for now just give it to yourself or to Scooby for a cartoonish ability to bounce back after being burned, shocked, frozen, or melted. 10th level rangers get another deft explorer ability. Tireless lets you give yourself temporary HP equal to 1d10 plus your wisdom modifier and you can get rid of a level of exhaustion on a short rest. I guess you're just better at relaxing than most people. Probably because you're such a great cook. You can also grab Fade Away from the class feature variants on the Dracana because, oh my gosh, hide in plain sight is really bad. Fade Away lets you become invisible as a bonus action once per short rest until the end of your next turn. Shaggy is a phenomenal hider, sometimes breaking the laws of physics to hide properly. 11th level Beastmasters get Bestial Fury, letting your animal companion make two attacks instead of one for a very voracious dog. 12th level rangers get another ability score improvement. Capping off your wisdom would be the best way to make Scooby the best dog ever because he is, clearly. 13th level rangers can learn 4th level spells. Freedom of movement gives a creature immunity to effects that would lower their speed, paralyzation, or stunning effects not happening to you. They can also break out of manacles with 5 feet of movement. This lasts for an hour, no concentration required. You tend to get caught in the weird net traps you set up for bad guys more often than the bad guys do, so you've got experience getting out pretty quickly. 14th level rangers get vanished, letting you hide as a bonus action, and you can't be traced by non-magical means. Generally, the magic isn't real, it's just some old white guy who found gold somewhere under a theme park. God help you if you run into a lich. 15th level Beastmasters can share spells, letting you take a spell you cast on yourself and apply the effects to Scooby as long as he's within 30 feet of you. You two are pretty connected, like burgers and fries, spaghetti and meatballs, or milkshakes and refried beans. Your diet is a nightmare. 16th level Rangers getting another ability score improvement. More constitution will keep you alive longer and help you keep the diet of a six foot tall raccoon. 17th level rangers can learn 5th level spells, and thanks to glass feature variants on Earth Arcana, you can get a talking dog. The awakened spell gives a beast an intelligence of 10, teaches it one language of your choice, it'll be charmed by you for 30 days, but would stick around if you were good to it for those 30 days, which you will be, because 
Scooby is smarter than you, you can't really lose that. 18th level rangers get feral senses, meaning that when you attack a creature you can't see, you don't have disadvantage, so you get a sort of whoopsie daisy fighting style. Any attack you make is probably accidental. Our capstone is the 19th level of ranger for our last ability score improvement, thicken your stomach lining as much as possible with a constitution improvement. And remember, buffing your constitution modifier buffs your HP retroactively as well, so it's plus 19 HP at this level rather than plus one. Now that we've hit level 20, let's figure out how viable this build is. First, Beast Companions are great for helping with initiative order, especially since the spells you cast on yourself also buff your dog. You're also great with animals in general, which can be great for lower levels. Finally, you and Scoob are as thick as the thieves you're thwarting, with somewhere around 200 HP for you and 100 for Scooby-Doo. For weaknesses, you don't deal damage, your dexterity and strength modifiers aren't great, that also makes your AC pretty bad, 14 with studded leather if you're in that episode where Shaggy goes to a goth club. You remembered that episode, right? Finally, your beast skills aren't going to come in handy much late in the game. It's typically demons, dragons, and celestials. But as long as it's just a guy in a mask, this should be a fun build for someone who loves dogs and food. So, anyone. Run around with your best pal and don't be afraid to do some baking. Of treats. Just know your limits. You're not well suited for when the real villains show up. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe for more. We make two videos every week. And make sure to subscribe to Two Lock and Mango for more Two Lock fun. We're reviewing every single Pokemon while we're locked in quarantine. It's kind of a good time.